as the title implies, King Tone have a, another pedal that is an absolute monster. Um, this one is the Rise. I was pointed this out by a viewer who left a comment. Thank you very much for that. Um, I just got to start this little three-part series by saying I am incredibly impressed by this. I mean, King Tone are probably most famously known for the Duelist, which is one of the most uh, popular and, and fantastic dual-sided overdrive pedals. Um, I love them for their fuzzes, the vintage fuzz, the two mini fuzzes, the germanium and the silicon ones that I've got there. Mini Octoland is a, is a really fun pedal, although not something I use a lot. So I didn't know what to expect from this. Now, this is a germanium treble booster, but it's such a clever little pedal. Um, really, I plugged it in and, I, and, and I'm just being floored by it. So I decided to make this little three-part series, which will go as follows. In this first video, I'm gonna take you through basically how it works and the tones with just a strap and a two rock classic reverb signature with the gain structure switch in the blackface mode. Uh, so we'll just leave it like that for this video. Um, in the second video, I'm gonna use a couple of different amps and a couple of different guitars to give you some more flavors. And in the third video, I'm gonna compare it to two other pedals that will be uh, probably the Vemuram Jan Ray and the Dan Drive Austin Pride. Now they sound like they're very different pedals, they are, but this thing can do so much. Okay, so I wanna explain what it is. On the front here, you have four big dials. On the top, drive and volume. They're self-explanatory, but the next one, this bottom left one, is a really fantastic dial. This is called Clean, and it goes on the bottom left from fuzz to, if you go all the way around, to glass. It's a really powerful uh, little dial here that um, is, uh, I've been playing with it all morning. I'm sort of addicted to, to, to all the different tones around here. And then you have tone, which I'm not actually gonna touch in this video. I'm gonna use that um, when I do a comparison. So, uh, you know, to not make this video as long as, <laughs> as it could be. And then you have the famous three-way switches, which all the King Tone pedals seem to have some sort of switching. This one has full fat, on the left, vintage in the middle, overdrive on the right. So, I think we should just get on with the demo instead of me waxing lyrical, but I do wanna just give you the conclusion right at the very beginning. This is a bit of a secret. Jesse Davey hasn't even made one of his sort of fantastic uh, uh, top-down pedal uh, demo videos of this. There's not even a manual. It doesn't come with one. There isn't one on, the, on their website. So it's a real secret weapon, secret machine. To, to steal Dan Drive's titles, but I love it. Um, and I think uh, a lot of you will really enjoy this if you love anything from warm fuzziness, but not too fuzzy, to very glassy cleans, to super powerful pushed tubey amp deliciousness. So let's get on with the demos. I'll explain as I go along. Okay, we're gonna start with just the amp tone itself very briefly, and then we're gonna get into the demo and the pedal is set up in the most fuzzy position. I'm gonna take you through the full fact, the vintage and the overdrive on this part of the demo, keeping the drive and the volume and the tone knobs in the same place uh, and the fuzz right down on the left. And I'm gonna play with the guitar's volume control so you can see how dynamic it is. So when you're hearing it uh, change, that's just down to the guitar volume. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now I'm gonna turn the drive knob up quite a lot further past three o'clock and we're gonna hear what that does to this fuzzy tone. Okay, keeping all of that the same, except now I've turned the clean dial away from the fuzz and we've gone to about one o'clock to see what happens. Okay, now I've turned the clean knob almost all the way up and to compensate for any loss of volume, I've turned the volume up, the drive up a little bit. I've left the tone the same um, and I'm uh, intrigued to see what happens with this uh, clean. Thank you. 
Okay, I thought that got a little bit too clean. It wasn't, um, just didn't have enough punch for me. So I pulled back the clean knob just a little bit to about two o'clock. And I was really surprised uh, and thrilled actually as to how this then sounded. <laughs> this point I really thought this pedal this is what I've really always wanted in my pedals this pedal could be the best pedal I've ever played my favorite pedal whatever however you want to put it if you're after this sort of tone this is the best I've come across um, even more so than my Austin pride I think but that's why the third part of this series is going to be a comparison just as a look forward to what's gonna come, quickly showing you the amp tone again and then the blues power just for a few seconds. So you can see it's quite different from the blues power. I, I just didn't want, uh, you know, sometimes we remember things differently. This sounds quite different from the blues power. Um, I love them both, but this, this pedal, I can't believe it's not being pushed more than it is. I was surprised that it was in stock um, and I'm just really glad that someone told me about it. For me, it's quite a game changer. This could honestly, if I made a video about a one pedal board, this probably gives me so much of what I want from fuzz to glass to sweet warm overdrive in the middle. So I hope you look forward to the second part, different guitars, different amps. But if this is in stock and it is on Peach, I think it was this morning, I would go and get one as soon as possible. That's my tip at the moment. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in part two in a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs>